Hello guys again, uh, Kill Magnetic here. Um, I'm going to be doing another drum update video. After I just found out that I had like 6,000 views for my last one, and it was really sucky. So um, here is my newly updated uh, episode 2, I guess, version 2 of uh, um, drum setup video. Alright, um, well, it's an overview shot. There's still more ideas I'm getting for this kit, but, um, uh, so far I still have a five-piece, but, um, you see that nice baby right there, I'm just going to add to this five-piece, make it a six-piece, but working on the the money to get the stands and all that other jazz, so take a look around. Uh, first we'll start off, uh, hold on, <sighs> new base heads, um, let's see the resonant, it's Aquarian, Force 2 resonant. And honestly, I forget the other one. Uh, oh yeah, Aquarian Super Kick number one. That, I think there's a number two, but it's number one. Um, God dang siren. Um, a new Pearl VX center drum with uh, Evans Power Center Reverse dot head as a batter, and Evans Hazy 300 um, as the resident. Um, Tom's 12. 13, 16, and then matting another 13 with one with a little bit, a uh, little bit of a deeper tone. Um, still have evidence onyx heads on each with Remo tone control rings. Uh, I haven't got the money to get resonance yet, but still working on it. Um, this tom here is a pearl, like a tom with a um, ISS mount. Uh, it's got attack heads on it, but I'm hoping to change at least the uh, batter. To an onyx so it can match all the other ones. Symbols. Same. A minor 14 inch HCS hi hats. Minor 16 inch HCS crash. Peisty 201 bronze crash 16 inch. Wuhang China 12 inch. And um, minor HCS uh, ride 20 inch. Kind of lost myself right there for a second. Uh, mostly PDP hardware, pulse double bass pedal, uh, what else? So here are my new ideas that probably might be getting, most likely, uh, if I get the money this month. I'm gonna be getting an, um, a new crash, um, it's actually, the crash is gonna replace that one. And then I'm gonna get a new stand, and then put a a crash that goes over the ride in China, which is going to be that one after after I replace that. And then once I get a stand, I have a, a right now a Tama Stage Master Double Tom holder, but I can't use it on this, so I'm selling it. So I might be posting a vid on that. If anybody wants it, you can contact me. Uh, actually, I don't know how you can get it because I'm, I'm just using Craigslist. I ain't using eBay because I don't have the money right now to actually pay to sell it. So but um again a Tama Stage Master double tom holder but I'm um, selling. So I had to get a stand for that and then that's gonna be three toms. Kind of like a brawn dealer for Mastin on setup. Kind of. And then um the crash like I said and then new head for that. So hopefully in the next month or two that will all come together. And I will almost be done completing my kit. Like, uh, update the symbols, but most of that, uh, and you get the resin heads. And then after that, the kit will be completely finished, which is good. I like to update my kit to an actual pro name, but this is a pretty gammon percussion. Um, I actually think it's pretty good. I mean,. The shells seem pretty good to me, and people say they suck, but, I mean, they're probably still using the factory heads that came with it. I mean, if you really trick it out with other pro name stuff, you're, it's going to sound good, I think, to my ability. Um, so, yeah, that's about it. That's the new drum um, kit setup update number two thing, I guess. Um... Yeah, so 
Also, more videos, probably more jump cover videos coming up. I'll be redoing. Um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Reviews on those and demos because the camera I used last time was really bad. So, all right, let me go on. So there's the kit.